The Possession of Hannah Grace is a horror film that was released this weekend. Uh, no one's really talking about it. Um, it came out at the end of November. So I, it's a movie, and it's released. Uh, it's from Sony and Screen Gems. So it's it's real. It's actually a movie that they put in theaters, and I had no idea what it was. I just saw it and said, oh, I'm going to go see it because it's a horror movie that got released. Did anyone know this movie was coming out? So in the opening scene, a girl named Hannah Grace is possessed, and she is killed while possessed due to a failed exorcism. And her body is brought to the morgue where a recovering addict is working the night shift for the first time. And since Hannah was killed during this exorcism, there's some stuff left behind still that begins to mess with our nice night shift morgue worker. This movie, you know, it's a movie where a girl crawls around and she goes, one of those movies so i mean it's you know exactly what i mean just by saying that i don't even have to say anything else the film is 85 minutes long with credits and so the majority of the movie is this girl megan played by shay mitchell who used to be a former cop wandering around hallways doors open weird sounds occur and maybe there's a dead body that might be causing this that's almost the entire film. This is a very limited cast. Obviously, the idea was let's do an exorcism movie, but with a slight twist to it, and we'll have it all be in one small spot in one contained moment of time, and it'll be cheap, and it'll probably make its budget back in the opening weekend. It'll be super easy. Let's just make it. We'll call it The Possession of Hannah Grace, despite the fact that that sounds like a billion other titles we've heard. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. The Haunting of Molly Hartley. Even the plot is reminiscent of a film called Last Shift that came out in 2014, which was about a cop at a police station working the night shift, and there were some creepy goings on happening. And that film was considerably better than this movie. This is one of the most uneventful horror movies I remember seeing in recent memory. And that's not to say this is a film without effort. They do try early on to give a backstory to the lead character, Megan. They try to have a bit of a twist to the exorcism plot that we've seen a thousand times, and the director is trying to at least craft some creepy sequences. He doesn't overly rely on musical score. The sound design actually does a lot of the work here, which I was impressed by. You can tell that he is trying. Um, it's just that the script is literally just a series of creepy scenes that really don't lead to much. When your entire movie is just someone walking around and seeing creepy stuff every once in a while coming out of a shadow and you're waiting for something, anything to happen besides a scene that ends with somebody saying, oh, I gotcha. You're waiting for something to occur that justifies the movie's existence. Everything about the film just feels like a movie that was made to make a return on their investment. This is an investment movie. There, there's nothing to it. It's not the worst film ever made. It's certainly not one of the better exorcism or possession movies. In fact, it's not even about a possession. So the title is misleading. The possession happens before the movie even starts, and it has nothing to do really with the plot. The film has a couple glaring plot holes too, one involving the father of Hannah Grace, who early on proves that he will go to great lengths to save his daughter, but later, goes to even more extreme lengths, and we're supposed to somehow understand what he's doing despite some really horrible things he does. And another, once we discover what Hannah Grace is actually trying to do and what she's capable of doing, she has the opportunity to accomplish something that would greatly benefit her, but she doesn't. She just kind of gives someone a way out of a scenario for some reason even though everyone else met a considerably more gruesome fate. Despite an attempt to craft some scary sequences and an attempt to craft a somewhat compelling lead character, it's all thrown away to have a girl creepily walking around contorting her body. You know, it's taken about 200 of these movies for me to realize that demons apparently don't really give a shit about travel time because that's gotta be the slowest fucking way to get anywhere. If you're gonna possess a body, at least make it walk or run. Eh. I'm gonna give the possession of Hannah Grace a D plus. There really isn't that much more to say. 
they try early on a little bit. There's little Easter eggs hidden throughout if you're paying attention, like uh, the lights above her flickering on and off, creating the upside down cross, which again is something that's been in a lot of these movies. They try a little bit and then they just give up and make a movie where somebody walks around in a hallway. Whatever. Uh, that's my review of this film. I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.